So in this video, I want to answer a question I get asked a lot, which is how do I get the real-time metering plugins that I use to measure the audio from streaming services like YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, and so on in my videos? And I mean, this is something that I do regularly because as a mastering engineer, I'm always listening to new music to hear what the, the current trends are, what new releases are sounding like. I don't always follow those trends myself. Um, as a YouTuber and uh, having a podcast, this is something that people ask my opinion about a lot. And I'm just a music fan. I'm just curious. I love listening to new music and I'm always interested to find out some of the things that help it sound the way that it does. So to do this, I use an application called Audio Hijack and I'm going to show you how I use that and also some of my favorite plugins to use for this. So I've got Audio Hijack running. I'm going to make a new session here. You can see there's a bunch of presets here that let you do all kinds of stuff, but I'm going to start with a blank session. And in a nutshell, Audio Hijack lets you capture any audio from your Mac in real time. So for example, we could choose any application we liked, an input device. In fact, I like to use Audio Hijack to capture the audio from my mic when I'm recording a podcast episode. I just literally have the microphone input here and can record it to a WAV file, which is super useful. I don't even have to fire up my DAW. In this case, I want to be able to capture any audio on my Mac. So I'm going to choose the system audio block here. And often you would add a recorder unit like this. You're also able to live stream and broadcast the audio. But in this case, all I want to do is add some plugins to measure the audio. And there are some built-in plugins included with Audio Hijack, as you can see here. Um, there's a ducking function, for example, that is useful if you're recording a podcast episode or something where you might be wanting to play back music. Um, and then all of my audio plugins are here. Um, the easiest way to find them is to do a search. And so in this case, Probably my favorite plugin to use in this way is Dynameter, which is the metering plugin I developed with meter plugs that allows me to look at the crest factor, the peak to loudness ratio of any piece of music and get a real time snapshot of the dynamics of that music. And I can show you that straight away. I can click run here. We're now capturing audio. And if I go to my browser, for example, and play some audio, then you will see that Dynameter is measuring it, which is exactly what I want. However, we can't currently hear anything because all of the system audio is being captured and fed to this plugin over here. So we need to also add an output block so that we can listen to this. So we'll just drag over here an output device and it's set to the default system output. So now when we press play, individualism got you when you're now a we can now hear that audio as well as measure it. And that, in a nutshell, is it. That is the entire setup. I can add as many plugins as I like over here. Um, I like to have a loudness meter in. You can see, by the way, that I can reorder the plugins if necessary. I'll maybe talk about that a bit more in a second. So this enables me to bring up a loudness meter. I like one called Lcast that's made by the same company that make Dynameter particularly because it allows me to choose to only monitor the short-term loudness, which is the one that I'm particularly interested in. This song is Fire Every Day by DubFX from the album Roots, which I mastered a while back. Let me just show you that. I also like to have a VU meter in the mix. My favorite is the VUMT made by Klanghelm, which I like just for the name, if nothing else. But you could add any plugin you like. Another one of my favorites is the NewGen Visualizer 2, which is very customizable. But in particular, I like the correlator here, which shows me the stereo phase correlation of the signal by frequency. You could use something like Isotope Insight, or there's a whole bunch of metering plugins out there. This is just one of my favorites. So let me just show you what that looks like in action. And that's it. This gives you an idea of 
how I get live metering on any audio that comes into my system. I use it to monitor Spotify. Um, I use it to check YouTube. And it just means I don't have to download any of this audio to my computer and bring it into my DAW. I can just monitor it live, which is very, very cool. And it even allows me to experiment. For example, if I wanted to know how something would sound with a slightly different EQ setting, I can drag an EQ into the mix here and add something in real time, for example. I could put in a limiter as well, if I wanted to, to make sure that I wasn't causing any kind of clipping. And then I can choose whether I want my metering to be before or after that processing. Do I want to see how that processing is going to change the metering, or do I want to put the metering earlier on in the chain instead? So it's super flexible and super useful. It is available for Mac only at the moment, but there are similar pieces of software that are available for PC that would allow you to do the same thing. So there you go. I hope you found that useful or interesting. Um, please check out Audio Hijack at rogueamoeba.com and let me know in the comments which metering plugins or measurement plugins you find particularly useful for helping you figure out why your favourite music sounds great. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I think you will also love a free guide I've put together called the Home Mastering Guide. It's a simple PDF and it takes you through what I consider to be the six essential steps to making your music sound fantastic before you upload it online or release it to the world. It's completely free and you can get your copy at homemasteringguide.com. My name is Ian Shepherd. Thanks for listening.